hi in this video we will see how to create first frame in swing so for all of your swing program uh, we need to import swing package so first line we are going to write here import java x dot swing dot star so it will bring all the classes from swing, swing package in our program so all the classes will be available for our program then we will create one class let's say we are creating ff and then we will define our main method so here uh, in swing if you want to create any frame you need to create object of j frame class so we will create j frame object now in constructor of j frame class we will pass title of our frame what we want title for our frame so let's say we will specify here my frame so this string will be displayed as a title for your frame now next thing you have to do is your frame is by uh, your frame by default is non visible so you have to first make it sure that this is visible so how uh, we will set visibility for our frame there is a method set visible we will call it so uh, here we can pass true or false when we pass true our frame will be visible and by default this is false the next part we will set the size so first argument in set size method is width and second one is height okay so these three statement will create a frame and the, the second statement will set visibility of that frame true and this one will set size 400 400 so we will save our file i am saving this file on desktop now we will compile it so first we need to change our directory and then we will compile it and then we are going to run it okay so this is our first frame here if you can see uh, this is the title of our frame and this icon by default this is java icon if you want to change it you can change now uh, we will uh, we, uh, now you have to notice one thing if you try to close your frame your frame is not visible but your application is still running so in order to solve this issue like when we want when we are closing the frame our application should also close so what we will do here we need to set close operation so there is a method set default close operation and there are some values so what we are going to pick is exit on close so this operation make sure when you will close your frame your application will also exit so now if you we will compile our program press ctrl c if your application is still running we will compile it and we will run it now we want to see whether our application will exit or not so we will close our frame okay our application also closed so we have to specify set default close operation now let me uh, put one more component on this frame uh, if you want to print any text on your frame for that purpose there is a class j label so we will create object of this class and we want to print welcome to swing so uh, any component you want to create you need to first create that component and after that you need to add that component in frame so how to do that 
frame object which is jf dot add method jl so it will add j label on this frame now let's see whether this is working or not compile it and we will run it okay so it's working now one thing uh, you need to care about here we are creating our frame in main thread the thing is that uh, for small application there is no problem but if you are going to develop a large application in that case we will not create our frame in main thread for uh, handling all the event there is a special th thread that is known as event dispatching thread so for large application or in future we are going to create our frame in using that thread so in our next tutorial i will show you how to create a frame using event dispatch thread thank you very much for watching